How is everybody doing today? I told you that I would start answering some questions, so I'm, I'm not really sure how the uh, answering of the questions is supposed to work. If you guys want me to say who asked the question or whatnot, let me know, because I'm, I'm new to all this. Uh, one of the questions that I get the most is about cycling clothing. What clothing do I like? What brands are good? That sort of stuff. So today we're going to discuss my personal favorite clothing for riding a bicycle. After we have a conversation with Shane about what uh, what is classic, uh, I want I want to give my honest opinion about why I use their stuff. But first, really really quickly, if you do like this content, please like and subscribe. Every little bit helps, uh, and that's why I keep doing these videos. That's how I know what you guys want to see. I use Classics product very heavily because they have made in my opinion the best bibs on the market. We'll get to what bibs are if you don't know yet, if you're brand new to this. They are the staple of any cycling kit. That is what saves your rear end from feeling like you rode a horse after riding a bike. Let's go meet Shane. He's the owner of Classic. Let's let him go through some of the product and then I will see you at the end of the video and give you a little anecdotal evidence about why they're so great. So let's, uh, let's grab my camera and let's go see what Classic's all about. So I got into biking, probably showing my age here, 1986, and it started with uh, a GT freestyle bike. Okay. So that, that was the start of it. So I played with BMX and freestyle for a couple years. My first serious bike ride, I did totally novice, green, I knew nothing, was Mount Mitchell. Really? So yeah, yeah. So I pretty much hopped on the bike and did 100 miles. And a funny story with that was uh, no training, just... pretty much no training, man. Just did. I did it pure off of like basketball fitness, you know, that and, and being 156 pounds, you know. So, uh, but yeah, anyway, I made it. The funny story to that though was uh, the last little part going up Mitchell, I was just dying. Like I just needed something, period. Mm -hmm. There was a family on the side of the road waiting on their husband, you know, cheering him coming by. and. Uh, they had a, uh, a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken. So I yeah. sat down on the picnic table, or a picnic blanket and I ate Kentucky Fried Chicken until I felt better. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Towards my latter years in college, uh, I met uh, the Hen Cappies and uh, they went, uh, Rich went to school at UNC Charlotte. I was able to ride and train with them. They taught me a lot. So it kind of went, grew from there, you know, mm -hmm. kind of got into bike racing from being around them. Again, yeah. they taught me a lot, pretty much ridden my whole life since then. Okay. So classic cycling started, actually it's a good segue from uh, talking about the Hencappy. So mm -hmm. I actually started selling George's old uh, clothes or bikes, mm -hmm. etc., on eBay. And uh, we, were, we were doing quite well with it. And then that's when they're like, you should sell some of our discontinued Hencappy. So it started with that. Then, you know, Giordana is mm -hmm. like, wait, you can sell our stuff. Then Castelli. So that's kind of how Classic started there and uh, grew into a storefront. And uh, so now as uh, times change, I am trying to focus on my own brand. So the women's team started uh, two years ago. Started, I would have taken a little uh, hiatus from cycling and came back and one of my friend's daughters actually uh, was quite good. And I was like, well, we should start a team around her. What's the aspirations for that? Uh, our current mission statement is <laughs> that we are a development team. So the goal is to, I feel like th there's a niche in, uh, in cycling in general, but especially women's cycling. Mm -hmm. So the niche is that road race stage race. So you, you either stay local, and which means you really just do crits in the occasional road race. Mm -hmm. Or if you're going to make it to the next level, to, to be in a pro, you've got to get to the stage races or road races. So our mission is to take local talent and give them the opportunities to go do uh, the larger stage races and road races in the country. So we try and put them on that same playing field as the pros. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they can develop and gain the eyes or gain the attention of a, a professional team and move up. So our, our whole goal is to develop riders and to turn them into pro athletes, you know. Awesome. So tell me about the 
ORS category bib shorts? So the ORS category bib shorts have interesting story. So it starts when I think it was 2017. I did a charity ride to Washington D.C. and it was over four days. It was I think 550 miles. Yeah, ride no, to D.C. It supports the police officers. Yeah. That's okay. right. Basically, we're averaging 100 and some miles a day, which isn't that bad really. If you're just going to ride, and knock it out. You're talking you know, four or five hours, right? Because uh, it's relatively flat, although there were a few hills. But, uh, but with DC, it was a different challenge because you really rode 10 miles and stopped at a rest stop. So many people came out to help us, we had to, you know, stop and say hi. So what really turns in, uh, it goes from a four to five hour day into a 10 hour day of chamois time. The first day or so you're all right, and uh, the second day or so after just so much chamois time and doing it in the heat, that uh, you really started getting shaped and abrased and so forth and uh, by the third and fourth day I was just miserable. So what I really found out is over, you know, after you probably go past that four, five or six hour time period, the bib shorts just relaxed a lot. So what may have started the day off is very tight. Over time, you know, the fibers just heat up, they expand, they're not con uh, contracting as much. So everything was just getting loose and sloppy and it's it, something I never experienced because I've never been in a chamois for 10 hours. So anyway, after the trip and uh, getting my butt tore up, I was like, uh, I've got to do something better. So I came home and we, that's when the ORS category were started. We went through several different variations of as I continually tweaked the uh, pattern, etc. Probably after six months, we finally got a product I was happy with. To start, the can't see it too well here. The pattern is shaped like, more like if you're on the bike. Then I also used uh, three different materials for the lycra is strategically placed to just keep things tight and in place. So we used uh, this material back here is an Italian material called Power Lines. It's on the back of the thigh to give you more compression there. This is an Italian material called Delta on the top of the thighs. Again, a compression style material. And I put a lot of effort into getting the right gripper. So it's a pet peeve of mine is when you put bib shorts on, I don't want the gripper to slide, period. This leads to more chafing, and uh, so the gripper I'm super stoked about. And then we finally finished with a, an Italian uh, chamois that has some uh, gel infused into the foam insert. The product's been a giant hit, and uh, yeah, I've been super stoked on it. It took uh, probably, I don't know, well, 550 miles to to be inspired, but I think the end result was well worth it. It's, I think, by far our flagship product. It's the most important part, right? I mean, jerseys are great, but come on, if, you, if, you're, if your butt's not happy, you're gonna be pretty miserable. The next garment I'm very proud of is our ice jersey. So it's, it's a lightweight summer jersey. We use a mesh on the front, more of a uh, lightweight uh, lycra. It's actually an Italian material called Estera for the sleeves. It gives a very nice aerodynamic fit. And then on the back, we use another Italian fabric with uh, sun protection, obviously to protect us from getting sunburned. And overall, it's a lightweight jersey, just does a great job as far as uh, just keeping you cool in the summertime. Yeah, so we do quite well with our uh, aero socks and uh, aero gloves, they sell well. So just kind of standard stuff here, but uh, we use an aero material. The, the thing about aero socks, and everybody gets focused on the, the length of the foot, and we do do these in small, medium, extra large, And uh, but really this is the key to the fit right here because there's less stretch to it. It's really key that it's you get the fit that's right for your ca your calf. So if you ever try and get a pair of these, I would say give me a call and let me talk you through it because it really comes to if you have gigantic calves you may be a medium and normal socks but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you towards an extra large and you know if you're you know if you're normally uh, a large in socks but you have super thin calves or no ankles probably gonna take you to a small because ultimately at the end of the day they're not arrow if they don't stay up this is a really cool uh, <coughs> bag too we did our own version <coughs> of the race day bag which I actually love a lot. We use this on the trip to DC. And it's so nice because down here you can store your uh, shoes in the bottom, which also comes off if you were to need it for like a dirty laundry bag. But there's more than enough room inside to store a helmet as well as multiple pockets 
inside and out where you can store arm warmers, leg warmers, etc. So basically for me, when I get ready to go to a race, this is the only thing I take. I don't have to take a big duffel. I know where everything's at because I know I put my arm warmers up here, my gloves are in the side, my shoes are on the bottom. It's just all nice, compact, and clean. Also, something else that's exciting for the Horizon is we are trying to get into some mountain bike jerseys. It's going to be a, uh, it's going to be a more relaxed jersey, obviously. A simple jersey, one, one little zippered pocket on the back for your valuables. Uh, it'll be cut a little longer, like most mountain bike jerseys. Another item that we're doing is uh, actually a, a polo similar to what I have on now. It'll be a little bit baggier, longer sleeves, and again, we'll make it longer. And I'm uh, making it with like the urban cyclist in mind. You know, if you're just gonna wanna ride, you know, five, 10 miles into town and grab a beer, you know, you might as well look decent and have a polo on as opposed to some cycling jersey looking like a dork. Go to classiccycling.com if you're interested in custom clothing. Hit me up, emails info at classiccycling.com. Hit the contact page. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, if you're a fan of women's cycling, follow our women's team, Cardinal Classic Cycling. And uh, yeah, hope to see you at the races. So I hope that at least it gives you a little insight into who Classic is, what Classic is all about. Kind of gives you a feel for, for really who they are. The reason Manny is standing here is because he is wearing a full classic cycling kit. One thing Shane does a lot of is custom clothing. I wanted to at least show off a little bit of the custom clothing that he has to offer. And if you even want to get down to the nitty gritty, like bib shorts can be expensive. If you want to go for something like Castelli, for instance, their bib shorts can reach dang near $300 if you get something that's like top of the line. I have worn a pair of $250 bibs. These bibs retail at 150 bucks. That may sound like a lot, but once you start riding a decent amount, you're gonna realize that you're, you're 50 to $75 short. They wear out quite fast, and they also hurt your butt after a few months riding in them. So 150 bucks is a cheap investment, in my opinion, for literally what has been the best bib short that I have ridden. You can wear these underneath your baggies for mountain biking. That's what I do whenever I go up to Wilson's and ride. They are my go-to for anything over a two hour ride, especially on a mountain bike, because that can get a little rough on the rump. And since you guys have supported me so well, I wanted to at least start doing some videos on people that I want to support, because I really want to help build the cycling community. That's what this channel was designed to do. Any of the things we talked about in this video, I will leave links down below. Check out the women's cycling team check out, that's that's Cardinal, check out uh, ClassicCycling.com. He's gonna be running some Black Friday deals, so be sure to check it out if you wanna try some of his stuff out. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. Let's, uh, let's get to it, let's keep going, let's move along.